Hey guys, this is Fancy NCB Woman Zoo here, and basically today, um, I'm actually gonna start my vlog part one. I'm actually gonna try to do a vlog, and um, with this uh, vlog, I I don't know if um, I might show my face um, or to you guys soon when I feel more comfortable. But right now, I'm just gonna be doing it like this. So basically. What I want to be talking about is Wizard 101, lower levels, um, high levels, PvP, and basically like money for those things. So basically, starting from low levels, um, what I basically mean by low levels is people who are lower level or are just starting off this game um, are basically getting criticized and um, like. People they're not getting fit in, f fit into the um, community, and no one's helping them or playing with them or even chatting to them because of their either their appearance in the game or their level. Um, I think this game should be um, for all all ages. Um, should is for all ages. Well, mainly for kids, but I think um, we should all get along and be as a team and. That's how we, that's how you can have fun more in the game instead of acting like as if, as if you're a high level, uh, level seventy. You you act more as the best, but when it comes to um, in reality, uh, you're not actually the best. You're just equal to everybody else. So I'm um, just saying that the low level shouldn't be criticized as um, crap or anything. They should be as equal as for everybody else. And and now uh, getting onto uh, basically PvP, people are like trying to be the best in PvP and not even actually letting anybody have fun, which is the the only reason for PvP is basically fun, because um, like what's the point of having PvP as being the best, and then what do you actually get out of being the best at the end? You don't actually get anything out of it, so. You wanna actually all share the as an equal uh, to all, and I'm just uh, putting these okay, none of the mounts, and um, basically we should all be equal uh, as one in PvP as well and in everything else. Um, but people try to be the best and actually make people feel sad, and that basically makes people want to leave the game and play another game um, so you shouldn't actually try to cri tell people that they crap or anything because that's gonna make them um, either unconfident or just leave the game and make them upset so you wanna all uh, be together as a team and the other one I wanted to talk about was basically um, the whole community of Wizard 101 and actually commentators now there's not many ver there's not many commentators out there who do wizard 101 commenta uh, commentaries um, well who do it occasionally they might do it every month two months three months they do it over time to get more views I I just want to entertain you lot who are watching this video and show you stuff that probably you won't be able to do um, at, at the moment that you are but if you've already done it then that's good and I'm just trying to entertain you and have a laugh and because I, I really like you guys for admire you guys for like, watching my videos and everything so I hope you just like um, I hope you appreciate how much I'm doing for you um, and soon guys um, I will try to make as many vlogs as I can and I will try to play with the fans or play with people who wanna play and we'll do PvP anything guys but mainly, um, thanks to everybody who watches uh, watch my videos and kind of like these videos. And um, basically, um, we should all get along as a team in the Wizard of Um I know the community and people are trying to get along as with each other, and uh, people are trying to be uh, as kind as they can, and they they're doing really great, but. People sometimes are lazy, and I'm not saying it to specific people who might be lazy. I'm not saying you're bad or anything. I'm just saying 
uh, try to actually get your butt up and help a bit. Um, that this will this will actually um, boost people playing onto Wizard One One and make it more of a fun game instead of a boring game and no that no one wants to play. So uh, that's that topic. Now another topic is um, if I can remember, basically money. Like there's people who are I'm not saying rich, but have money when they need it and have money to spare and can use it. And then there's other people who don't have the money to use for anything like pets and mounts and things. What you should do is, if you can't get money and anything like that, and you have kind of friends, um, to actually play with your mates and make them a better person, you should actually like do a kind of a trade. Like, if I buy, like, if I had my mate here, and I bought him, I gifted him some stuff. Now, you might think, why gifting him is a low level? But if I gift him, um, what would happen is, over time, he would be the same level as me. So, we're all equal, and we're st still as mates, and we're not bored, and we're having still fun. And you might think, uh, but you're wasting a lot of money. Uh, you're wasting your, your money on him. But I'm that kind of guy. I'm the guy who would use the money and then ask, um, like, you would always get a return. So if you're going to ask him, then get something in return. But don't ask for the same thing. Like, if you're like, okay, I'm going to get you this now. You have to get me that from the crown shop. He would, If he could get that from the crown shop, he wouldn't actually need you. If you get what I'm saying. So reality and game, games should get along. Like, if you're trading someone with crowns, and you've used a bit of your money it's no problem ask your uh, friend or whoever it is if you if you don't know him and you you're just kind and you feel like doing it um ask him to help you out if you gift him ask him to help you out help your missions help you and do your storyline help you play help you get good help you have fun if you if you if they're not your mate to your friends um ask for something in reality for return uh, like if you go to school or if you live near them or if you go to the house sleep over anything ask them for something in return um, which is kind of the same level as what you give them um, and that's how we all play together so you should all try um, basically helping each other over and over and over and that's how Wizard 101 community is going to be boosted up and many people are going to be playing this game over time and and it will get a more fun and happier kind of game and i'm trying to make wizard 101 the best it can be i'm not one of the creators of wizard 1 i'm not even i don't even know i don't even know wizard 101 um i haven't played wizard 101 for quite a long time probably a year or so so i haven't known how to play this game as much but um i know uh, wizard 101 as as like a family wizard 101 is like a uh, close thing to me um, because I um, I have played with one from the day it came out from the start and ever since then um, I've known how to play this game but they're gonna keep on updating it guys so if you're gonna if you don't have money for anything and um, you're kind of a poor person but you're you're like broke not poor if you're broke and you can't buy anything uh, what you should basically do, what I'm gonna try to do, and you lot should try to do with me, is ask Wizard 101 for a non crowns place. Like, uh, there's good things like the crown shop. Have you seen the crown shop? Um, like, um, if you go to basically, if you go to mounts and you go to gold, so some of the mounts are gold. Um, I'll show you one right now. Oh, there you go. 50,000 gold if you're a non member that is kind of a hard thing to get if you remember it's not that much Because a member is always the top they make uh, members as the top At the top of wizard 101 as the like the generals, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean the non members are crap It means that non members don't have the opportunity to become the best they can be um, so you should um, everybody should help each other and work like work with each other and communicate and wizard 101 are making contests out there for um pvp contests to get crowns 
I think they should make lower level PvP contests for the really low levels who just like start PvP for the higher crowns because the, the high levels are competing for the big crowns 60k crowns 60,000 crowns but the low levels that would be like a whole year of dream for the low levels so or for the non-members so they should actually do that 60,000 crowns for the lower levels I know they will die and stuff but they should give them free elix elixirs to boost their health up and this will make everything fair making everybody happy who wins and the people who lose have an opportunity to get to the lower level and the people who l lose more get an opportunity to do other things like everybody has a chance to get a prize because if you're the cr I'm thinking the creator of Wizard 101 King Sile they, c they make basically um, cards and all this they can send it out for free for free to anybody if they want they can get everything they can if they have like one of the people in King's Isle who are there, if they have children or anybody, one of the workers, they can actually just give their children everything in the Wizard One One. But they choose not to. They choose to play fair and as a team. So, to if you want stuff, um, ask Wizard Central or Wizard One uh, One website if you can actually make lower levels. Um, lower level what you call it contests to get more um, crowns so the lower levels don't feel out of place and like sad this would make the whole uh, community like a fair test of a game and this will that will boost this game up to full potential making the, this game probably one of the best games in the world so guys uh, think over time about working as a team um asking some questions um posting comments what you want me to do in my next vlog about anything you can do it about anything in whole wizard 101 why uh, you can do about mounts how to get mounts you can do about gardening you can do about anything guys just tell me and i will do it so for this last topic i'm gonna basically say schools and why there are certain schools which are better than others now there's many schools and they, there's many schools in wizard 1 i think there's uh, seven there's seven schools in wizard 101 and the schools are ice if you can see on the floor fire death mid life storm and balance is basically meant to be in the middle but it's not here so balance um the, no none of the school are the best none of them are the, are the best you might think if you're myth you might think myth is the best if you're life you might think life is the best if you're death you might think death is the best fire fire ice ice storm storm balance balance but there is no best because why do you think they made so many schools because all the schools have something that's awesome like death it attacks and it heals but it heals half that's why you have life life who can do healing full which helps you to survive either death can heal you a bit and hurt them so you have a little boost and uh, a little boost within attacks then the storm full attack power it has attack power but its defense is a crap so if you get hit you have a chance of dying even more and its um, accuracy is really crap when you're you got 75% accuracy you hit you can fizzle all the time which is kind of the waste but it's got some awesome attack then there's uh, fire which are kind of leveled they've got good um, blocks and things and good um, attacks but they resist and not so good and the uh, health goes a lot and their healing um, is just ultra like just so bad that if you were alive you'd probably kill him but because of the defenses which are good they can resist a bit and do a super attack on life or whoever's versing him i'm not putting on life life anybody balance whoever and it can they can kill with a hit but it depends if they get lucky with the downside which is um 
uh, how much health uh, basically goes away. Then there's ice, which has basically the best defen defense and some really good attacks. And the health of ice is f awesome, guys. I'm it's still the best though. Ice defense is awesome. They got good defenses, but think about it, their attacks are too high. They are t higher attacks are too. They they're not as good. They do lower attacks, and there's so many defenses from every class against ice. But ice has some thing with their attacks. The high attack when they attack it has a chance of stunning, like basically frost frost giant, a s uh, chance of stunning as well. Instead of just attacking and then uh, they're resisting, they stun uh, as well to help ice out. Then there's balance, which have good blades and good attack, but they're not so good because um, balance have to have to be balanced. They have to have good. Um, um, basically they have to have good shields and good attack and good health but that makes them vulnerable to different things because balance equipment is hard to main get unless you're the higher level like 70 like you might get lower really low health like f uh, 50 health from something but a really good spell but then you might get a really lot of health but a really crap spell or you might not even get a spell so that's why balance have to try their best and um, work for the equipment and try to work as the whole thing and balance have to maintain how they are and they can't go too much attack and because the defense will be really bad and they can't go too much defense because uh, the de uh, attack will be really bad but the other schools have their own unique thing like fire has its own unique thing uh, death myth life storm and ice so guys um I'm saying is all the schools are equal in different ways they are good and then they all have a downside they have a negative side to them but what you should do guys is to try to be to have the most fun you can have is have a character of every single class and um, fix it like make it to 70 and see which is the best class for you like which is your class of heart which is your main class which is your family what um, element is your family my element is balance because um, the first time I had my balance character I when I defeated Malister what happened was um, I, th I don't know what happened I think it was um, a glitch or something but it helped me so much and that showed that balance help is my character I think when I was defeating Malister, my all of my power pips, all my pips, I had no pips because I did judgment. And what happened was Malister still had it had a hundred thousand health. I was only soloing it. And what happened was I left, forgot my wand. So what happened was I couldn't do the little attacks to get him to get me in z like no zero pips, like to get me pips, but I hurt him as well. So what happened was I had to defense. And I couldn't defense because all my cars were gone. Defense cars, and I only put a few cars. And what happened was, as all my cards went and I had no treasures, my power pips went to full. As did my as did my treasure cards. I clicked my treasure cards, and it was basically ice, fire, death, mist, life, and storm. Um, treasure cards. Um, I think it was the ones that cost seven pips in your in my deck um and i managed to kill malister in the solo with 500 and hold on guys i'm just gonna check something yeah uh, 526 health i had left to kill um, malister and i used uh, i think i used a fire attack um i don't know which one it is um, I'll see if it's on fire. Um, I didn't take the print screen of the fire. So let's just see what card it was. I think it's the last card. Elephant. No, it's not elephant. It's it's in the um, class. It's in the, sorry, uh, bazaar. And you can check it out there. Or if you're on fire, you can just tell me what the 
seventh um, pip card is, and that basically basically showed me how to kill Malister and my mate, my friend. Um, I was doing Malister with him after when this is before I lost my account. Um, I basically what I did was I thought that was, um, to him I thought it was gonna happen to him. So what I had to do, he told me, I told him about what happened, and he goes, leave me and see if it happens, so I fled, and it didn't happen for him, and he, um, I think he died when I came back, when I came back to him, because he said he's dying, he had like 200 health or something, uh, probably lower or even higher, and I t teleported, and what happened was, my pips went to full pips again, but this time, it came with one card, which was myth, what do you mean a myth card came, treasure card, and it was, I think, it, I don't know what card it was. Um, I think it was Minotaur or something. And I managed to instant kill him, uh, instant kill um, Malister with, I think, 25,000 at attack or something. Um, by using my shields, which were already there because my mate put him, and he was a myth as well. Um, was he myth? I think he was a myth. Oh no no wait, is he fire? Mr. Fire. He was one of them, um and he did put up his um spells to do myth. I think he was planning to do a myth attack or he just did it just to get his pip away. Not his power pip, his pip. So what I uh, had to do was I attacked and he did twenty five thousand attack and what happened to Manister was um he kind of glitched out and um it gave us the win for the for the match and my mo my mate thought my account was a special account and what happened was uh, after that was my account just like couldn't log in um changed my password did everything i could ask wizard 101 they said here's your details did it all and same thing happened guys it didn't work and it didn't even say banned what happened was i had to do that my mate said um what you have to do is get a new computer so i got a new computer and i tried it it did work guys it did work what happened after that was um after i come after i came on and i came off it said invalid username this uh, character it does not exist after i quit uh the game which i basically crossed it for a year and i didn't come in this character is not valid and does not exist so that basically just made me so angry and sad because all that i did then what happened was when i came after the year because my brother was playing and he wanted to level up i thought i forgot all the levels in wizard 101 because i was busy doing um i think it was a different game called um uh oh yeah sorry um i played a bit of epic duel and wow world of warcraft i made my level 85 in four months and i did some raids and i got full gear so I'm good. Um, I'm just trying to wait for my Pandaria kind of thing. Okay, anyway. What happened was uh, I made a new character and I forgot how to do everything. And then after a few weeks when I was leveling up to 20, when I was 20. Uh, like three, we three weeks I was level 20 because I didn't used to play the game as much. I basically forgot that I had a level 70 account. And I basically played till I was level 42, 43. And then what happened after that was I remembered about my um, level 70 account because my mate said, do you want to do le uh, PvP with your level 70? And then I f remembered and I thought, uh, remember it got hacked, I said to him, and he goes, oh yeah, I'll help you level up. So he helped me level up to level 47, 46, sorry. And um, we were just help. he was helping me a lot and right now what he's doing i think he's doing his college work or something guys not college work sorry um gcse's or something and what happened was um he got his and he's not playing this game as much now um and he's doing um what is it called what do you call it forgot what it's called fine art fine art degree something i don't know what he's doing I think it's fine art or art, so one of them, textiles art or fine art, he's doing to 
get degrees in them and he's gonna do full three years and what he's trying to do is uh, after I think his project is basically to draw a picture of any anything in detail and I'm gonna ask, uh, ask him if you can do if he will do our um, what, do, what do you call it S uh, website for us uh, for our channel but I doubt he will do it because um, he's still got two years and um, I don't know if he's com he's in um, DT which is design technology or I don't even know if he's in ICT um, which is basically um, com computer work I really hope um, he can do it on computer find out on computer but if you can't then it's fine guys I'll try to do it on computer myself I doubt it's good because my channel picture is just mental and a half and soon I'm gonna make more 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 like like what I did hopefully better and then it'll be fine I'll we'll just carry on and do our normal daily stuff and vlogs so guys I hope you like this vlog about the three topics I th I'm sure I said four I don't know how many I said before but three topics which was basically Wizard 101 money the community and basically the elements of Wizard 101 the classes so hope you like this vlog and see you all later